So Ian, it's a 1-0 loss to Osset United today. What did you think of that performance? Yeah, we've played two 90s against them and I think there's nothing at all between the two teams. But we've come on the... Obviously, we drew the first one but lost some penalties. And tonight, we've, it was a bit of a... It was an even game, nil-nil game. Unfortunate uh, error by us. Cost us in the first half and we were better second half in terms of pressure and territory in their half. But we just didn't have enough quality in his final action, in his final play, in his final movement. Um, I just thought we didn't have that urgency, if you like, to go to goals we've done in previous games this season to go get the equaliser and go get the winner. Um, I don't think there was anything lacking of effort and application. I just think tonight the the quality wasn't there um, enough and, and just didn't have that urgency. Um, like right there, we had five strikers on the pitch, but we didn't put enough people in the box to, to, to if he's cross or um, off the throw-in. Um, and it happens, but look, nothing in nothing between the two teams in both games. But unfortunately, we've come on the wrong side, and and that's football. Um, and there's no blame. It's just an unfortunate error that's that's cost us. Yeah, so it's obviously it is a frustrating one. Ended up being a bit like that Long Eaton match a couple of weeks ago. Is it? Are you a bit concerned because it has been a while since we scored from open play? Most of our goals come from free kicks. Are you a bit concerned about the lack of goals from open play? Yeah, look, I'm not concerned because we're creating chances. I'm just concerned that we aren't scoring um, from open play as much as we'd like because it puts a bit more pressure on um, close play situations. But tonight we've got in really good positions with both fullbacks, got really good positions with our, our wide attackers. We Lou got hold a lot of ball. We had good movement in midfield. I thought Curtis Turner was was excellent tonight. Um, but unfortunately, just that final pass, that final decision, that shot, it's gone over the bar. It just wasn't there tonight, so it's not it's not a, a major issue, but it's something we need to get better at. And obviously, something else I mentioned is that in the league, while the FA Cup run has been fantastic and made everyone delighted around here, we'll get on that in a second. We haven't won in the league now since the opening game. I mean, you've not been here for a league win yet this season. Yeah, you? yeah, we're only six games in, and we've played some tough teams. Um, but before tonight, we've played eleven games. Uh, won five, drawn three, lost three. So if you took that form, that percentage ratio into the end of the season, we'll be fine. So there's no panic. What I just keep saying is we don't want to get a cut adrift in the league. So if you get cut adrift in the league, you're then looking over your shoulder, not looking up the table. So yeah, we know we want to be better in the league. Um, Tuesday night away at Osset is, is a difficult game. Um, and the other games that we've had uh, have been difficult ones and we've competed in every one. And I, I'm confident that this group of players will well, once after this FA Cup game, whatever the outcome is, we'll start picking up points in the league. Uh, on a brighter note, we saw the debut of Ify Afegbu, and I'm hoping I pronounced that correctly. <laughs> um, he looked quite lively at moments, had a good, decent chance, which uh, Hall was able to save near the end. What is that what we're likely to see from him, that sort of liveliness and physicality on the wing? Yeah, something we probably haven't had the option of, um, so we're recruiting for that. It's his first competitive 90 for about four, three or four weeks. Uh, they did an, uh, an in-house match last week before we signed him. Um, and you can see as the game went on, he got better and better. He's got he's got pace, he's got power. Um, yes, his touch will get better and his, his uh, combination play, but that's the first time he's played with with, with this team and, and I thought he did fine tonight. Yeah, so on to Saturday, which is obviously what maybe we've all been talking about a bit too much rather than this game over the last few days. Uh, Ashington in the FA Cup third qualifying round being described as our biggest game for 11 years. Can you preview that game for us, please? Yeah, got to enjoy it as a football club. Uh, we've got to make the most of the day as a football club. We hope people will come and watch us. We hope the community will get behind us and those who aren't going to Sheffield Wednesday or other uh, local professional sides come and watch. In terms of us as a squad, we want to progress to the next round. Um, we've, we've, we've had footage on them. We've, we've got information on them. Uh, we're going to go there full full out to win the match. Um, these players have been brilliant for this football club, a credit for this football club in the FA Cup, and I believe they can go and progress to another round. Ashton are a competitive side. Um, they've had two good wins recently against Bradford Park Avenue and, and Ashton United. Um, um, they have lost, for example, they lost in the FA Vars 6 4, so even though they are good going forward, they, they may be vulnerable to attack. So we've got to make sure whatever game plan we go for, whatever. Starting 11, we, we play, we, we give a good account of ourselves and hopefully at 5 o'clock we're, we're in the fourth qualifying round. Thank you very much, Ian. Cheers, Adam.